Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and I have a domination match for you on Nuketown, and this is actually where I started the game. I'm not cutting anything out of the beginning. I just joined a session in progress, I guess. I, I didn't really join a session in progress, but I just picked a domination and it threw me into a session in progress, and I got put on the losing team. And not long after I joined, they were getting dominated, and then there's a gunship coming in here, and it just seemed like there was no way that we are going to win this one. So I have my try-hard glass on. I threw a AK-74U with rapid fire. I've got flak jacket and ninja. And so I'm not going to talk too much about the game, but just check it out. I thought it was a good comeback victory. But I wanted to talk about a video that I saw, I don't know, a week, week or two ago. And it's from a YouTube channel called Home Project. And basically it talks about how the Industrial Revolution triggered a massive explosion of population of humans on the planet because before the Industrial Revolution and and before we discovered oil as a cheap fuel source humans could only create enough food to sustain themselves and sometimes they couldn't even do that and there would be famines and there would be mass extinction of populations in areas where there were droughts and we've kind of solved that problem with with petrochemicals and machinery that can create these huge harvests that can feed a huge population and since the 1800s like there's maybe a billion people on the planet 200 years ago and now there's close to 7 billion people and expected to be like 10 billion people by the year 2050 so we are growing as a species very rapidly and it talks about how these petrochemicals that we use to fertilize the soil and basically make artificial nutrients for plants when before there had to be like nutrient rich soil you'd have to switch crops and, and plant certain different crops so there's different nutrients in the soil and we're kind of using these uh, petrochemical fertilizers to replace that to kind of give them artificial food and it's it's making the land barren so that if if and when because oil is a finite resource it, it comes from you know, trees dying and animals dying millions of years ago and decomposing and basically turning into oil it is a fossil fossil fuels come from living organisms for millions of years ago and you have to wait millions of years to create new oil and there is no more new oil being created so eventually it, it is a finite resource and eventually it's going to go away and I guess it just got me thinking of what are we going to do <laughs> I mean when oil even when oil prices start going up we've just been so spoiled with having cheap oil as a cheap power source that we really need to start thinking about alternative energy sources and what we're gonna do when we deplete the resources of our planet we're gonna have to expand to other planets and I hope that we have the technology and time to be able to do that and it really should be a focus of humans as a species to try to work on solving these problems or else we're going to get to a point where we outgrow our planet, which is what we live off of, and that's going to be a big problem. So there'll be a lot of people that die. Because right now, you know, the the idea is you, you have two people, you know, mother and a father, and they have a few kids, but there's a lot of people that have more kids than they have than the mother and father, so we're expanding at an exponential rate, and the population is growing rapidly so something has to happen and it kind of reminds me of uh, the the part on the matrix where mr. Smith talks about humans here let me show you that in case you forgot Multiply until every natural resource is consumed. 
And there is some truth in evil Mr. Smith's assessment of the human species. Uh, if you like, if you're flying into a city and in an airplane, of course, or if you're Superman flying into a city <laughs> and you're, you know, you're flying out in rural areas and you see all the trees and nature and then you're coming up on a city and it's just this, this mass of concrete and basically destroying the natural environment and creating this manufactured hive the human hive that humans live in which is called cities it's it's kind of crazy how how fast city areas are expanding especially in the the real big populated areas like if you look at Los Angeles or New York City and some of these really big cities that expand like you get the suburbs and then the suburbs start becoming bigger and then there's suburbs of the suburbs and it's growing and growing and growing and we're constantly building and expanding into new territory until there's not much space that is habitable on the planet that is not populated by humans and i heard joe rogan say something that it reminds him of uh like mold on a piece of bread you'll see like a little spot of mold on bread and it just starts growing and growing and growing until it takes over the whole bread and eventually the mold will consume all of the nutrients in the bread until there's nothing left for it to eat and it dies and the same thing happens with viruses in in a host that'll start you know, infiltrating a cell until it takes over the cell and ruptures the cell and spreads to the other cells in the body. And, and that's what what cancer is really, is the spreading of, the overpopulating of a certain organism throughout a host until it consumes the whole host and it has nothing left to eat. And that's kind of what I've been thinking about is you know, we see this growing, expanding population of humans, and what are we going to do about it? Because eventually we are going to consume our host, which is the planet Earth, until we deplete all the resources. And if we don't either expand or somehow come up with other energy sources and other food supplies, what are we going to do? Because it's going to run out sometime. So it's just kind of like a, I don't have any answers to the problems. I'm just uh, bringing the problems to the forefront of my mind and thinking about them and trying to maybe speak out and get other people to think about it. Because whether you think that, you know, global warming is real and the polar ice caps are gonna melt and we're all gonna die in five years, I, I don't really believe that. But there's, there's definitely some point in the future where we are going to outgrow the resources that are available to us on this planet. So let me know what you guys think. If we're gonna expand to Mars and populate the solar system in little bubbles, or we'll have to have some way to create an environment where we don't have to live in an artificial environment on other planets or on the moon. I don't know how we'll do it. <laughs> but we're gonna have to do something eventually and it may not be in our lifetimes but it may be in our children's lifetimes or children's children's lifetimes or children's 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 but it's gonna come up because we are growing and there's only a finite amount of space and resources on the planet left to consume. So I hope you enjoyed watching this comeback game if you're even watching the game and the new music that I made in the background. So thanks for watching, and I'll try to get some more videos up for you guys soon. And I'll talk to you later.
I hope I didn't blow your mind. 